morning again guys from Tampa Bay. This morning I'm going down to see a client to do some monitor calibrations. I do service work like this for other professionals in the area. And monitor calibrations is one of the regular things that we have to do for photographers and videographers. Because monitors do go out of spec every so often. Modern LED backlit flat screens are much, much better than any other kind of monitor. And usually only have to do them once a year now. But it's still something that a lot of people struggle with. There is something rattling. I heard this the other day coming out. I thought it was the change I had in the glove box and then I thought it was my keys. So I took off my house key. It's still there. Oh, got a little rain. Up goes the visor. There we go. I definitely like riding now with the shield up and my visor up. We'll see how it deflects the rain here. I might have to put the visor down, find a different position. Now the Generation 2, when I had the visor all the way up, which I did a lot because it's great for the rain, that was actually a little more comfortable than this one because I got some different airflow with the visor down in the closed position. I never had a problem with any kind of hot air stuck in the helmet or fogging or anything like that. So I'll be anxious to see when I get caught in the first rainstorm on this bike how it compares. Don't really know yet. Oh man, it is early. I got a 10.30 appointment. It's about 10 to 10. Should take just over a half an hour to get down there. Traffic shouldn't be too bad. Because we're going down the new 19. And they finished all the construction for the part that I'm going on. And it's after rush hour. This is why I like working for myself. I never make appointments before 10 in the morning. Not only so I don't have to get up super early, because, you know, if I get an appointment at 8 o'clock and it's on the other side of Tampa, that means I'm up at 6. Screw that. No need for that. Plus, you get caught in the rush hour, which really means I'm probably up by 5.30. Because sometimes, depending on where you're going, what would normally take you 45 minutes will easily take you two hours. But this one's not too bad. This is just straight down into clear water. I didn't figure on the weather though. That's the good thing about this bike. It is an all weather world bike. It's used as uh, government and cop bikes in a lot of countries. Of course not the US. Some US have uh, finally adopted some of the European bikes like the BMWs, and I've, I've seen some municipalities using the Kawasaki, but I haven't seen any using the Yamaha yet. Around here, they use a lot of the Harleys, of course, that's pretty much the standard. I'm sure they give them some pretty good contracts, but they also use Victory, or Polaris. God damn it, this stupid slow ass truck it's gonna make us miss this light now I have to wait another five minutes for absolutely nothing thanks a lot dude uh, but I saw one of the new sheriff bikes for our county here when I was up at the dealer getting my last supplies for the oil man I'm gonna have to take a ride around the block just to figure out where this rattle is without my helmet so I can hear it, but I can't locate it with the helmet on. 
I can't tell if it's coming from the steering, the bearings, the, the plastic. It sounds metal, but it drives me crazy. I don't know if it's something normal, because I wasn't hearing it before. Now that I have the visor up, you know, it takes away all the wind noise, so things sound different. So it might be completely normal, it's just, you know, something making noise. But, I can't tell. So, a funny story. You know, the other day, if you watched my videos, I went up to a new client, the Verizon Event Center, which is pretty much like a little ballroom attached to one of the big Verizon stores in the area. And the wife knew it. I have her convinced that they're giving me a new iPhone today, because today is the release day. And she really wants one of the new 6 Pluses. And I've got her convinced, and I'm getting one. <laughs> and she is mad. Because my, up, my upgrade date comes before hers. And she wants me to give her my update so she can get that new phone early. Not that she could anyway. They're all backordered for like 6 weeks, at least. But I've got her convinced that I'm getting one today, and I even got another uh, wedding vendor friend of mine to post on Facebook that's also a client of the center. Oh, can't wait till we get our new phones today. Too bad Ashley has to wait. <laughs> she was pouting all day yesterday, all mad. <laughs> now she's at work, and she texted me and said, Can you see if they have an extra one when you're there, please? <laughs> That's hilarious. Alright, well, not too much else to talk about this morning. So I'm going to continue on down here. I guess I'll give you guys a relaxing ride for the rest of it. And I will catch back up with you when I get down there.
So as you can see there, we did get through some rain. And it worked fine. Got enough airflow. Actually, I have uh, something different. Catching a lot of air that I wasn't the other night. Maybe it's just all the traffic and the, the disturbance in the airflow. I'm not sure, but it's not uh, silent right here today at least. Nothing's changed on me. Helmets and visors the same, and it is all the way up, so it's got to be just the other cars around. Still nice, though.
So we're coming up on the breakfast place that the wife and I really liked, past tents. This is the one that we went to a couple times and had a couple failed video vlogs when we were first figuring out the dual vlog and getting the intercoms to work well with each other and all that kind of stuff. It's right up here on the right. And we will never ever be back, which is really sad because it really did taste good. However, a couple days ago there was a news story on ABC here about their disgusting health report. I mean, the worst you can imagine. Pretty much, if it exists, they had the violation. Cross-contamination, raw food with cooked food, uh, old food, 150 pounds of old potatoes that they were serving. Of course, that's what I had too. Uh, flying insects, live roaches everywhere, rodents, you name it, they had it. They had 150 violations. Absolutely stomach turning. And it made news around here because it is or was such a popular place. I mean, they were known, the entire area, for being the very best breakfast restaurant ever. And they were insanely popular. They always had lines. There's usually a wait right here, Lenny's, there it is. Let's see how busy they are. Wow, still packed. Of course, not everybody is from here and sees the news. But on Facebook, pretty much everybody that had been there or knows the place is same as me and never going back. Oh man. I couldn't believe it. My wife found the story and she sent it to me. And I kind of recognized the restaurant. It was a publicity photo, so it didn't really look like it looks like. I was reading this going, no, tell me it's not. Oh my God, it is. And we were just there too. So we need to find a new Sunday morning spot. <laughs> we kind of been going out to breakfast on the bike. Just a little family routine. But, won't be coming down here anymore. They did have, by far, the best biscuits and gravy in the area, that's for sure. And she really loved the stuff she got, too. And everybody else that I've talked to that's gotten stuff says, you know, it's their favorite. So that's what's the real bummer. Interestingly enough, I did find a uh, a boxed breakfast from I want to say banquet I'm not sure though but it just comes with a can of sausage gravy and uh, some biscuit mix so it's all in one and you just use a little 8x8 eight eight baking dish you mix a little bit of water in with the biscuit mix pour in the gravy you can either dollop little spoonfuls and make biscuits or I just pour it all over the top and just make one big flat biscuit and it actually tastes really really good the only bad part about it is it's pretty darn salty and there's nothing I can do about it because it's all in the recipe already but I of course don't add any salt but it is noticeably too salty it's too bad so I'm kind of on the hunt for a replacement fat because I love biscuits and gravy. I'm not a breakfast guy at all, with the exception of biscuits and gravy. That's just absolutely delicious. So I'll see if I can find something else or uh, maybe just figure out how to make my own. Maybe use some turkey sausage instead, make it a little healthier. But I know it's the, the gravy itself that's really the not healthy part and another Wawa going up those things are popping up all over the place here I stopped in one once just to use the restroom looked pretty nice I haven't tried their subs yet there's one right around the corner from us and everyone on Facebook it seems goes there a lot and likes it pretty much when I get a sub though I go down to Publix or Subway I like their turkey and ham. It's one of their under five grams of fat subs. 
tastes really good. And I like getting the fat-free honey mustard on it. Surprisingly, it's filling. You don't need cheese. Just get some <clears throat> veggies on it, and it's good to go. All right, almost here. I am shocked at how much traffic there is. I can't figure out why. I mean, it's 1020. A ton of traffic coming the other way. We're, we're pointing towards Clearwater Beach right now. It's about five miles straight up. I'm just going another two lights, I think. And then just a mile down or so. Let's see, Keen Road. Yep, this is mine. One light. <laughs> Oh, something smells good. It smells like hamburgers, like Burger King. Uh, what are you doing, bitch? Why are you stopping way back here? Stopping so far back, there's cars getting in front of her in the turn lane. That's great. Well, it was definitely the other vehicles on the road there, just disrupting all the air. It's silent here. That's good. I was afraid there was something wrong. It really was. All right. Haven't been here in a little while. Got to remember the street. I think it's coming up on the left in about a quarter mile. I think it's called Stancil. I've missed it a couple times because they got these tiny little street signs. There it is. Tons of traffic. Weird. Of course, you know I don't do commuting anymore, so this might be completely normal for the area now. Come on, people. A little bit of rain doesn't mean you have to do 10 under. I'm interested to see when I see this footage how much rain gets on the GoPro camera. I get a little bit here on my visor, but not much. It blows down and off, especially when I put the windshield down. But I don't know how much is hitting the GoPro yet. So I haven't ridden it yet in a storm. It's funny, when I got my first one, the very first normal ride I did, went down to see my mother-in-law on it, and basically got caught in a little mini tropical storm, and it was coming over the Skyway too, and they, just, out, just after I came over it, they closed the Skyway. That's how much wind and rain there was. So it got a trial by fire. Alright, I'm here. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Check out the website. See ya.